people say, I can't feel grateful for my wealth because it hasn't happened yet. That's the hypnosis. Waiting for the experience to happen to feel grateful. Well, that's Newtonian, that's three-dimensional reality, that's cause and effect. The quantum, you gotta feel it in order for you to experience. This heart becomes like an amplifier and it sends that signal out and that frequency can carry the thought of your abundance. Your brain is organized to reflect everything you know in your life. Your brain is a record of the past. It's an artifact mm -hmm. of everything you've learned and experienced in this mo uh, moment. The feelings and emotions are the end product of past experiences, and we can remember experiences better because we remember how they feel. So most people wake up in the morning and they start remembering all their problems, and those problems are connected to certain people and certain things at certain times and places. The moment they start thinking about those problems, they're thinking in the past. Those problems problems have an emotion associated with them and the moment they start feeling those emotions the body is the unconscious mind doesn't know the difference between an experience that's creating an emotion and the emotion the person's fabricating by thought alone now thoughts are the language of the brain and feelings are the language of the body and how you think and how you feel creates your state of being so most people's entire state of being when they start their day is already in the past so you have a choice the choice is you're either defined by a vision of the future or you're defined by the memories of the past. And when you decide to say, okay, I'm going to change, and you decide one thing, I'm not going to eat this food, I'm going to wake up earlier, uh, I'm going to do something aerobic, I'm not going to have mm -hmm. sugar after 6 o'clock, whatever it is, yep. the person, whatever choice a person makes, the moment you make a choice to do something differently, and the hardest part about change is not making the same choice as you did the day before, get ready because it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel unfamiliar. There's gonna be some uncertainty and unpredictability, and that's the moment the game is on. Yes. So then, most people, their, their body has been conditioned emotionally to be the mind. So now, the, so the, the body says, wow, uh, I'd rather hang on to my guilt mm -hmm. than take a chance in possibility. I'd rather live in fear yes. than trust in the unknown. So, yes. so once the person feels uncomfortable, the body goes, whoa, wait a second, uh, we're out of the program here, and body starts influencing the mind. That's right. So it says, start tomorrow, you'll never change, right. you don't have the money to do this, you're not good enough, your mother told you this, your father's fault, it's your ex's fault, you know, all of the voices that come up. Now here's the deal, if you respond to those voices, those same thoughts as if they're true, by the way, they're always going on behind the scenes of your awareness, but now they're amplified because you're outside your comfort zone. You believe in that thought. That thought's going to lead to the same choice, which is going to lead to the same behavior, which is going to create the same experience and produce the same emotion. And the person's going to say, this feels right. No, 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 that feels familiar. Going from the old self to the new self is a neurological, it's a biological, it's a chemical, it's a hormonal, it's a genetic death of the old self. Mm -hmm. And people will say to me, in that void, in that unknown, mm -hmm. I can't predict my future. And I'll say to them, the best way to predict your future is to create it. Not from the known, but from the unknown. Love it. So close your eyes now and think about that vision. Once you start thinking about that vision of your future, you're activating the creative centers in your brain. Mm -hmm. And naturally, mm -hmm. you begin to think about putting yourself in the scene. Yes. And the act of doing that, when you're truly passionate and truly present, the moment you're defined by that vision, when the thought in your mind becomes the experience, you begin to feel the emotion of the event before it's made manifest. Yes. Now, you're giving your body mm -hmm. A sampling, a taste of the it. future. And now, if a thought and a feeling create a new state of being, you're combining a clear intention with an elevated emotion, mm -hmm. and now you're beginning to change your biology. And you're seeing a whole new landscape that you could never see before, because you're no longer viewing your future through the lens of the past. I love this. Now, this, this requires, then, something really specific, because most people will wait for their, their, uh, their wealth to feel abundance. They'll right. wait for their success to feel empowered. They'll wait for their new relationship yep. to feel love. They'll, They'll get all these things win. Yes, right. so, so, so think about that. The absence of getting those things causes people to live in lack their entire life. That's right. And so they're waiting for something outside of them to change how they feel inside of them. And if they're not creating a new life, then they're not applying the proper
proper principles, then they keep all their manifestations, all their dreams at arm's length. So let's think about this. If you get up feeling gratitude, if you get up feeling empowered, if you get up feeling whole, if you get up feeling unlimited, mm -hmm. why would you why would you worry about whether it was going to come or not? You would feel like it already happened. Right. And the latest research on memory says that 50% of what you talk about in the past isn't even the truth. That you, you, you don't have the same brain then. So you make stuff up, which means now you're reliving a past that you didn't even have just to embellish it to produce the emotions to reaffirm your limited limited state you know lighting a match in a dark place that first step creates enormous amounts of chaos in the brain and body and it's disturbing so people mm -hmm. just go back to the same addiction the same emotion the same problem <sighs> this feels better no that feels familiar so they said okay mm -hmm. now i gotta change i gotta reinvent myself now this is really important because they started sitting down and thinking, okay, who in history do I admire? Where are great people, role models that I can follow? What are the qualities and characteristics that they have? How am I going to change? You know, they, these are what we call frontal lobe questions. The creative center of the brain switches on and the emotional center settles down. So then they started thinking, how would I have to be in a new life if I was really going to heal? What would I have to change about myself? Now, there's this interesting phenomenon that if you close your eyes and you begin to think about doing something, you're an athlete, you understand this. If you're a uh, uh, background in football and you're running a pattern or you are doing something, you would rehearse it in your mind. Yeah. Turns out that the act of mentally rehearsing something when you're truly present, your brain does not know the difference between what's going on out there and what's going on in here. In fact, your brain will begin to look like you've been doing it for the last five days and you've never run the course. Mm. So now your brain is no longer a record of the past because typically it is. Now it's a map to the future. So now you're priming your brain. So that became the very platform. You know, experiments with piano players. You know, you take a group of people that never played the piano before. You divide them into two different categories. You take one group of people. You teach them one-handed scales and chords. You do a brain scan on them. They come and practice for two hours a day for five days. At the end of five days, if you rescan the brain, they ruin circuits on the opposite side of the brain. Nothing magical there. You learn something new. Learning's making new connections. Get some instruction, you get instruction, you get your body involved, you get your body involved, you're going to have an experience, experience enriches the brain, pay attention to what you're doing, you got to pay attention and repeat it, firing and wiring, you're going to assemble new circuits.